Yo, what's going on guys? Mick Wiggle wanted here bring you another video. In this one, we have a Diamond Dynasty video. So as you can hear uh like some clicking in the background. That's my fan going. Uh it's kinda hot where I live right now. Like it's like twenty-six degrees. It's really hot. We were actually supposed to be getting a tornado of some sorts today, so that's fun. But this is just going to be an update. I'm going to try and do these maybe like every second or third week. And this is going to be a big update. So, over this last week, uh, I haven't really grinded. Oh yeah, I would say there's a couple new additions to the team. But a big thing is I'm now in the CS. I think I've been in the CS for a little bit over a week now. My, my rating has actually gone way up. It's at 1788. I know when I was making my first couple of Diamond Dynasty videos, I was trying to get to 1700 rating, but I just went on a huge tear. So, uh, no, not statistics. Uh, game history we can go to. Yes, game history. Uh, I lost my last game. Uh, as you see, he scored in the seventh. He had Kershaw pitching. I had DeGrom. The top, the top of the seventh, he had two out, a man on first. He pop flied it to Altuve, who was in second, but he was running the bases as the ball was in the air. Altuve dropped it. I went to go throw it to home, and Altuve skied it over the catcher, and he ended up scoring off that, and I couldn't tie it up. Uh, I won that. That was a online head-to-head -head game. I quit because I went to bed. Uh, that was a win. That was a win. That was a BR game where I wanted to reset. That was a win, that was a win, that was a win, that was, oh, this is funny. So, as you see there, I was up five to nothing, and it was, this is a BR game, and the guy didn't know what, know what he was doing, so I'm just like, you know what, I had to go use the bathroom, and I'm like, you know what, whatever happens, happens, I don't really care, and... I guess it ended up kicking me, so, oh well, it's not too, I'm not too, uh, stressed out about it. That, what was that? I think that was a win. I think that's like a regular Diamond Dynasty win, yeah, because I had David Price. Uh, that was a Diamond Dynasty, or not a Diamond that was a Battle Royale loss that I just quit, I don't want to restart. That was actually a Battle Royale loss that I tried, I was, this was for like my 9 game win. Uh, that was BR win, a lot of this is BR, but in regular Diamond Dynasty, I've been on a bit of a roll. I'd say I probably won, like, 9 out of my last 11 games, or 10 out of my last 12. Uh, I've been on a really good tear as of late. Uh, as you've seen, uh, the video I made, I'm trying to get Rizzo up to somehow get this Albert Pujols card. Uh, 39 days left, it's gonna be a struggle to get 5,000 5, tickets. I think, I think I'll be able to get to level 50. I only need 15 more levels. I should easily get to level 50. Just getting the tickets is going to be uh, really hard to do. Uh, my missions, let's take a look and see. Oh, that kind of spoiled a bit. Uh, I'm really close to like some of these like diamond statistical missions, which will give me 25,000 XP and like... Uh, as you can see here, like a lot of them I'm pretty close to, so that'll give me a good bunch of XP. Not really working on getting any uh, command missions done right now. I think I might try and get Jeff Rancor. Um, other than that, maybe the Diamond Matt Holiday. Uh, and maybe Pablo Sandoval. That's about it. Other than that, uh, I completed the Al Alex Rios rookie card. I didn't really like him, the gold card. I packed rookie Ryan Zimmerman. Uh, I ended up selling him. Some more pack pulls since my last update. I pulled Wade Davis last night in a 10 bundle. Um, I don't think there's... Oh, I pulled Daniel Murphy a couple days ago as well. But uh, let's take a look at my team. Yeah. So here is the starting rotation. Uh, I don't really think I've gotten too many big pitchers since the last update. DeGrom, Ryan... DeGrom, Ryan, Fernandez, Cueto I've all had for a long time. But I did put in this uh, flashback, Jared Weaver, what you get for completing the Angels. He, he's got he's a pretty good card, actually. He doesn't throw the hardest. His fastball is only probably 89-90. I think I've seen a touch like 91-92. But he's got a really good curveball. He, he's got a really good pitch combination, too. But, uh... 
a really good uh a really good starter. So you know if you got trout and you're like, well I could use another starter, definitely worth it. Uh, I don't really think there's anyone else down here. Relief pitchers, no one really different here. I still have Java as my long reliever. Uh, there's my bullpen right there. Newest addition, Billy Wagner. This is the Astros Billy Wagner, as you can see. You get him for for uh, embodying the Astros. So you got to do the innings. I think you get the flashback Castro, the catcher. And then you got to feed Astro players and you end up getting Billy Wagner. I really like him. Uh, he hasn't really shit the bed for me at all. Uh, we still got Kimbrel. I don't really use Wade Davis a whole lot. It's just, he doesn't throw it hard enough. His per nines aren't the best. There's better options than him. Andrew Miller, he's still playing way down, but he's still really good. Britton, a roller, two people you really need. And, uh, Calvin, I still have. If Patance is up, I sometimes play him. It's either between, uh... Him or Calvin, if Calvin's playing down, like Calvin moved back to a closer in this last roster update. It doesn't really matter because like it doesn't affect his like actual stats, but just the overall. Uh, it looks a bit nice with Batances, but on to the actual team. Oh, I will, okay, yeah, I'll show the team and then I will explain everything. So, bam, there we go. On to the team. Catchers, uh, there's a Castro card you get uh, for completing or for getting all the innings done with the Astros. Not a bad card against righties, but there is what the team is looking like. Altuve, uh, live series, Altuve, live series, Trout. Flashback Prince Fielder, who I sometimes switch up if I go to my first baseman, who I most of the time use Rizzo, but I want to also throw Prince Fielder back in there, and I just got Will Clark yesterday, so I've been using him for a little bit. But I thought I'd throw Prince back in there. Uh, to see if he can get the job done. Then we got 99 Alex Rodriguez. This is the one you get for completing the entire AL. So you gotta get Donaldson, Machado, Trous. Oh god, like so many. Altuve, so many players you gotta get. It costs a lot of stubs, but uh, I'm really happy I got this card. And now it's gonna be going on to get to getting Reggie Stalker and Matt Kemp and Jackie Robinson, but I'm still so far away from that. That's how we got the live series cargo. I picked him up today for like 4,000 stubs. He's really good against righties. People, if you want the flashback cargo, just go out and get this one. There's, like, fielding and speed, there's no difference. The flashback one's a bit better against lefties, but if you got someone who can platoon with them, just go out and get the live series one. Manny Machado at shortstop. Probably, I'm going to say, the best shortstop in the game. My Diamond Dynasty guy, there's a look at him. Not bad stats hitting-wise. And then we got Ioana Cespedes. But here is some of the platoon players. So if this is if a lefty is pitching this, this squad is for against a righty. So we got one, two, three, four, five righties. And then two lefties and a switch hitter. Not that bad. The righties I, I all have are actually better against right-handed pitching than left-handed pitching. So this is if a lefty, a starting lefty like Kershaw, John Lester, uh, anyone like that comes up. I put Jeff Bagwell in for Prince Fielder or Rizzo or, or whoever I have. There's Jeff Bagwell goes there. Donaldson comes in for A-Rod, Hanley comes in for Machado, and Bautista comes in for Cargo, and then Jimmy Edmonds is there just in case if someone kind of gets hurt, or just like a pinch hitter. So, that is what the team is looking like. I'm still trying to grind and get that Pujols card, it's going to be a long time before I get him. But if I do end up getting in, then... I really hope, I really hope I do end up getting him, but it's going to be a grind. I'm going on vacation, uh, I'm recording this Sunday night, I'm going on vacation on Thursday for 10 days, so there won't be like any videos then, but here's what I need to go, to get like Reggie Stalker and all of them, I need to get the Nationals, that'll give me Chipper Jones, I don't think I'll really use Chipper, even though he was probably one of my favorite play, players growing up, so I need to get Scherzer, Strasburg, Harper, Daniel Murphy again. 
the NL Central is probably not a very tough one to get. You get McCutcheon, Votto. Cubs is kind of hurt, I guess. You need to get Brian and Arietta. I already have Rizzo. And that'll give you Johnny Bench. And then the final one, you got to get the NL West. So you got to get Paul Goldschmidt, uh, Arenado, Kershaw, Kenley, Baumgartner, Posey. That's a lot of stubs right there. So, yeah, that's, it's gonna be a lot of stubs. It's, per, I think it's somewhere between, like, 800,000 stubs to do the entire NL. The prices might be going down as the year goes on, so I might one day get Reggie Stalker and Jackie Robinson and say that I've gotten every live series card in the game and every, like, cool flashback. But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Feedback is important. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.